It was a top of the table clash at the Stade Auguste de Londres as this season's high flies Ransom Monaco faced off on Saturday evening. Alexander Golovin and Kripandiata were making their returns to the Principality lineup. The infant Minamino starting from the bench. Will Still's men were looking to continue their impressive run of form after seeing off Lille and Lyon in their last two games. And the first chance of the game fell to Rouse as Teddy Tuma found Nakamura on the left. The Japanese winger couldn't beat Philip Kohn. Monaco looked to find the breakthrough before half time as Kripandiata broke down the wing. Play the 1 2 with Ben Yedda before sending his cross in. And it's Ismail Jacobs at the back post to open the scoring. It was a first career goal in Liga Oberitz for Jacobs, who found the net in his 66th game for Monaco. The hosts were carving out more opportunities in the first half, but were unable to make the most of their chances. Monaco, the more clinical side. And instantly after the break, Monaco were on the front foot again. Fofana breaking through the lines and finding Flo Balogun on the right, who unleashed a shot into the top corner. The American international scoring against his former club. His shot helped through by two deflections. Monaco looking to wrap up the game by the hour mark. Diata swinging in for Ben Yedda, whose deft header beat Juf. The French international grabbing his 150th Ligue 1 breeds goal and putting the visitors out of reach. Rass were looking to pull one back as Manetti was played through. Brought down by Matsima and the referee blows to the spot. Set piece specialist Teddy Tuma stepped up and dispatched the penalty to pull one back for the hosts. The 18 year old substitute Mamadou Diakon was leading the charge for Rouse. Cut inside and curls at it for far post. But Kern was able to get down in time. And it was a clinical performance from Monaco to go back to the top of the table. As Will Still's men saw their unbeaten start to the campaign come to an end. Following Balogun was once again decisive for his new team. Having scored the only goal in the two teams' last encounter last season.